It's really fucking simple. I wouldn't recommend shooting at me because your gun goes pew pew, but my fucking gun goes. <laughs> Again, my name is Lenny and this is RTB and this is the final reveal on the Italari 148 scale A10A Thunderbolt Goo. And yeah, you can just see it, it's just there. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is um, we'll go down to the very expensive studio downstairs and uh, yeah, I'll give you a full full rundown um, on the build and so forth and and anything else that I can think of that might be of interest. Okay, so let's go down to the studio. And there she is, all done, all finished. Now, to start with, uh, the build. Now, I was pleasantly surprised with the build. Um, everything that I was expecting not to fit too well, fitted really well. There wasn't really any issues at all with this kit. Um, the only thing I did use filler for, and it was the only thing, was the actual wing roots themselves there was a tiny tiny gap and i'm thinking well once the paint's on it really is going to stand out so that's the reason why i actually just used a bit of gloop what if to, well, to properly cure went over it with a sanding stick and it was absolutely fine other things that i did use um were well used the aries um cockpit set um which came with the injector seat um the metal barrels and for the Gatling gun at the front. And I used the Black Dog resin engine, which we'll show you in a second. The reason why I got the, the Ares cockpit was basically because the cockpit tub was a blank canvas and the instrument dials were on a decal and they were pretty poor. So I elected to go for the um, Ares cockpit. The canopy was always going to be open anyway so I just felt it was a lot easier that way to, you know just to basically get some proper detail within the cockpit area everything else um, all the ordnance um, the aileron stroke um, air brakes the actual engine the sails and the tail and the wheels and undercarriage stems legs everything that went on really really well there were no issues with that whatsoever. Painting wise um, what I did is I just normally um, primed it with uh, some Tamiya I think it was XF19 or might have been a darker grey uh, I'm not too sure but that's all I use for a primer is just a Tamiya grey and then I just went over did the old um, pre-shading and just really went all out, all out for the actual Hataka Orange range, which is the lacquer. Um, I used the um, paint set, which they do have for the um, European US Air Force, um, which was gunship grey, medium green, and a European one green. And that was used throughout the whole of the kit, top and bottom, because it's a wraparound camouflage. Well, I've been using Hatakas now for well over two years and I think well it's two years and I'm not going to come away from them because they are lovely paints and they do last quite a long time and I'm happy with the results and the colour and everything else that I do get from them so well if it's not broke then don't fix it. Decal wise um, all the decals are from the kit now I've never had an issue with any of the Atelari um, decals before um, and this was no exception the actual decals went down really well there's no issues there was no sort of like um, brittle um, didn't fall apart they didn't do well they didn't do anything wrong so that's why I used them um, I was thinking about getting some aftermarket ones um, but I thought no the decals went down and with a few sort of like coats of set and solution they bedded down really well, conformed to the actual um, panel lines, and then yeah, I thought, yeah, I like this. So yeah, the Tulare decals, nice one. Now with the Black Dog um, 
engine. Um, I wouldn't say it was problematic. Um, it was the fact that, I mean, the actual exhausts um, are slightly wrong. Um, the kit one is poking out a little bit and the actual aftermarket one is more in. So it does look a little bit odd, but well, if you don't look at it, you can't see it, can you? Anyway, um, but though, the actual um, resin replacement engine, it was a good investment. It's come out well, I think. Um, I've done a bit of detailed painting with the wiring and all the rest of it. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with it. It's, it's one of these things that sort of like brings it out and sort of like gives it a little bit more, I don't know, animation maybe, or, you know, it's, it's like a, another focal point rather than just the actual cockpit itself. Speaking of the cockpit, I am just trying to get you a, a bit of a, a closer look within the actual um, kit itself. Um, the surface detail is beautiful. It really is sublime and it is something that I'm really, really happy with. Um, what I did was I, um, I painted the, the consoles. Um, what was it? A, I think it was a rubber black um, with Tamiya. Um, but what I did was I put some retarder in there so I can actually paint it properly um, without it sort of like folding up on itself and all on tundras. But yeah, really happy with the cockpit and uh, yeah, cool beans. Armament wise, um, I didn't go too over the top, um, I didn't kick the house out of it, but uh, I acted to have, uh, as you can see, the two sidewinders, uh, rocket pod and the AGM 65 Maverick. And that's pretty much the same on the other side. However, I've got the ECM or the AL, AQL, or, yeah, AQL pod on that side as well. And not to mention, in armament wise, is the Gatling gun. Uh, metal barrel, um, all the bits and pieces in it. Very, very nice. And, and yeah, I'm impressed. Right, and that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the actual build itself. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. Um, really impressed with it. I have gone through scale mates and all the rest of it and quite a few others. And they say even the Ravel one is very, very good. And But then again, I think this one's really, really nice. Um, I have mentioned it before. I can't if it was... Martin or somebody else what about the Tammy one as well now I've built the Tammy one and although it's very very basic um, would I build the Tammy one or would I build another Italian one I would build another Italian one every day of the week um, I'm not saying that the Tammy kit is crap it's very very dated and yeah it would I mean, if Tammy did another A10 and a complete new retooling, then it would be an amazing kit. It would surpass everything. But for the time being, the Tolari and possibly the Ravel one, if I ever do make it, are certainly extremely good kits. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you on the next video. Until then, take care. Keep yourself safe and happy modeling. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.